life is, I mean, nothing but stories waiting to be captured. I grew up in a family where storytelling was important. So, um, you know, everything is, is less about the, the technical truth than more about making it a good story. I got insanely lucky with Wicked Lovely. You know, when I wrote it, there wasn't this YA paranormal boom. Twilight wasn't even out yet. And so I wrote it with just the theory that, you know, this is, this is what I grew up with. I know folklore, I know fairies. And, and I didn't expect what happened. I'm very grateful to all the readers and booksellers and librarians that made that happen. But, you know, there was no way to see that coming. And so I just wrote a story and I guess, I guess it just worked out. Graveminder is a result of partly a lifelong fascination with cemeteries and folklore having to do with the dead. I have a kind of fondness for them. When I travel, I visit cemeteries. I've been up to see Mercy Brown's grave in New England and over to Highgate in London. Um, and the other thing is obviously folklore. With everything I do, there's a folklore ba background. Um, in 2007, I was in Ireland, and I read a little snippet of folklore about, um, about the dead coming back. Specifically, um, if you don't mind their graves, like here at the cemetery, um, if you don't take care of honoring them, they, they come back. They come back on a specific night in the year, and for the, for the mythos of, of Graveminder, I sort of modified that because that's sort of what you do with folklore and with writing. But um, they have to have food, they have to have drink, and they have to have story. And when they come back, if you, haven't, um, if you haven't given them those things, they will come back and they will take the human equivalent of it, which is breath, blood, and flesh. And so in the tradition, the way it works is that because they've already been judged by their god, um, the person who's responsible for letting them out of their grave is the person who then is going to bear the sins of the actions they do once they come back. And if you don't satisfy their hungers when they come back, they turn on the other living and, and you end up having a murderer on your hands. And that's kind of what happens in Graveminder.